today I show you what happens if you use the DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor and you update to DaVinci Resolve 19. I wanted to use DaVinci Resolve when it's ready for use, when it's released to everyone, so now it's released to me also. And I use the Speed Editor here, this DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor. If you don't know about this, you should check out the videos. I made a few videos about this, it's really super useful. This wheel is really the magic thing. This has firmware inside of it and once in a while gets updated. So with DaVinci Resolve 19, you actually get an update for this. I don't know exactly what it's doing, but it's asking me and I can choose to do it later. But I thought, why not do it now as, as soon as I have it and show you also how it's going. This is really like magic. Okay, so I'm ready to do the update and uh, I was ready to use the software DaVinci Resolve and then I got the pop-up. This, I got this pop-up here. After opening Resolve, I got this pop-up after opening Resolve, but it's actually optional, you don't have to do it. But I'll do it anyway. Okay, so first the most important thing. Okay, first the most important thing is... First the most important thing is to disable the Bluetooth on the computer and I will show you I'm recording the screen also while I'm doing this. So the Bluetooth is disabled now. So there's no Bluetooth connection to this device. The second step, get the beefy cable supplied. Also, you can uh, confirm that the Bluetooth the connection is not working. When you spin the wheel, the timeline in the timeline in DaVinci Resolve, timeline in DaVinci Resolve will not work when you spin, spin the wheel like this. You can use the cable they provided. You can use the cable that uh, was included with the speed editor. I think it's this one, but I'm not sure. But it's just a USB-C to USB-C, 2.0 simple cable. And you can actually use a USB-A to USB-C, which is more convenient. Here I have this USB-C to USB-C going in from a USB hub into the speed editor. This cable is from the SSD, the Samsung T7 Shield. I think it's gonna be okay. USB port at the back. Simple plane, plane connection. USB port. And now, yeah, I spin the wheel. Okay, okay, I was able to get things back, back up. The speed editor is connected with the USB cable. And the computer here, I have the option to do the update. So let's do the update. Okay, I'm at the computer now and the speed editor is connected to the computer through USB. The Bluetooth is disabled on the computer. And if you have a dongle, you can actually remove the dongle completely if that's an option. And uh, the option here, I got this pop-up keyboard. Updates available, connect your keyboard via USB, select the appropriate keyboard, image from the control panel setup, application, and follow the update instructions. If you skipped it, uh, you didn't press OK, you didn't press update, you didn't have time. Usually we don't have uh, time to do it immediately. So this is DaVinci Resolve 19, finally I got the update. It has some interesting features, I will really check them out. So, seems a bit faster than 18.6. Uh, and some, the voice isolation toggle works faster. I don't know if it's really doing anything, anything different. The voice isolation toggle works faster. Oh, so it's asking you again if you press later, so that's good. So if you press later, it will ask you again. You can also go into the help menu, 
DaVinci Resolve control panel setup. The control panel is connected through USB. So, yeah, I have it connected with uh, Bluetooth all the time. I never use the USB cable only to charge it from a PowerPoint. The Bluetooth is amazing on this thing. So from this option, from this menu here, I think we have the update here. Yeah. So would you like to update your speed editor now? Okay, the battery is a bit low on 23%, but the speed editor is connected through the USB. So it should be okay. And now it's disconnected. The lights are off on the speed editor. It even made the sound that the USB is uh, disconnected, unplugged. Hopefully it's going to come back because if it doesn't, I don't think it has warranty already. I think it's been two years. And it's doing it. I never did an update for this speed editor but it keeps asking so it must be important oh it's back the lights are back that's it done okay and now it shows 74 percent strange i think uh, there's something about the battery it needs to be calibrated or something because there's no way it's 74 percent so i spin the wheel on the editor yeah it's working on timeline yeah it's okay so yeah So DaVinci Resolve 19 got the update. The studio version 19. Okay. That's all. Thanks for watching.